In this presentation, we will go through the setup process to process payroll tax forms and payments for payroll taxes within QuickBooks Online. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are in our S Corp paid payroll file. We're going to go down to the workers tab where the payroll items are. We have process payroll, one payroll check for our employee. Now we want to think about, okay, what about the payroll taxes that we're going to have to pay and the forms that we're going to have to make, the 941s, the quarterly forms at the end of the period, the 940 at the end of the year, and the W-2. We have an item up here. We're looking up to the upper right where we say avoid late fees, set up your taxes. Now, we also have check out full service payroll. So full service payroll would be the upgrade. We're going to go here to the avoid late fees. We now have our setup screen here, which says, let's make dealing with your payroll taxes a snap. We need some information from you to take care of your payroll taxes and forms. Here's some information. If we scroll down again, they have leave your payroll taxes to us. Again, trying to get the upgrade for that. We're going to go ahead and continue to the tax setup. First area is the employee details for Anthony Moore. We need the birth date and hire date. So we've already entered the hire date. I'm going to give the birth date is going to be January 1st, 1980 is in our example problem. We've already entered the W-4 information. So that is good to go. We're going to say continue. Next screen, we have the business information. What business name do you use? We're going to keep our business name for our mock corporation. What address do you use? We entered this in the company information. So if you have that in company information, it should be good. Did you hire your first employee within the last six months? If this is true, then hit yes. We're going to keep it as is, as the defaults right now. And then uh, workers' compensation insurance. Uh, this will help you to integrate the workers' compensation. That will be more of a local thing, a state and regional thing. We're not going to deal with that in our example problem here. We're going to focus mainly on the Fed and with regard to some state items, just to give an example of a state, but focusing mainly on the big picture, the Fed. So we will then continue. It's telling us we have to answer either or here. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes on this one. Did you buy your business from a previous owner? We're going to say no on the previous owner. And then we're going to say continue. QuickBooks then tells us since you're a new employer, we've entered the tax rates and schedules specified by the IRS and state agencies for new employers, including the 941, the federal deposit schedule for a monthly employer and uh, the California information. So QuickBooks, again, can be able to read that information from the IRS and the state and note what is required and hopefully give us all the tables we need and the tax rates in order to calculate the taxes for them help us then to process out and be in regulations with regard to the quarterly uh, reports as well as the yearly reporting so that will be great we're going to say okay next we have federal and state tax details first is your business a 501 c3 nonprofit? so if we're a nonprofit organization then of course we would have some special taxes we're going to say no we are a for-profit we're looking for profit here the next is an EIN number. Note that the EIN number is going to be something we will need if we process payroll. So that's going to be given to us from the IRS. So you think about that from a federal standpoint, the EIN number is going to be specific for the employer identification number. It's good for any business because it's something that you might have to give for other business needs such as 1099s and whatnot. So it looks something like this. This would be the EIN number. Check out if you don't have one to go to the irs.gov website and look through the process to setting up an EIN number. It's a pretty easy process. You can do it pretty much online at this point, I believe. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll use the example. And then I agree to share my information with Intuit Partners for, for workers comp offers. And you could pro that would probably be good. So you can keep that if you want to get workers comp offers, but I'm going to check it off for now. Do you know your California employer account number? Depending on the state, we'll have an employee our account number for the state. So we have an employer account number here. That is something that would be required on the W-2 at the end of the year for our employees and other forms for the state. And therefore, uh, it, depending on what state you're in, you're going to have to get the state number as well if you're subject to payroll taxes in that state. Our example number is one, two, three. We're going to say four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
We'll then select save at the bottom right. Once Note that if you have some problems with the example file, then you're gonna to have to change the EIN number from the example EIN number in order to do a practice problem for the QuickBooks Online. The next area is gonna be the ePay and eFile setup. So how are we gonna pay our employees? We can either do the manual paper coupon or ePay. Now, normally we would do the ePay. That's gonna how, how the IRS and the state typically wants to be paid now with the ePay. If we don't, then we're going to have the coupons and we're going to make sure that we're going to need to get these coupons in order to issue and pay the payroll taxes. We're going to set up with those uh, manually with the paper coupons for the example problem. Then we're going to say next and we'll now all set. So we're going to say done and that's going to be the set up process for payroll. If we go back. Note where QuickBooks has left us here. We're now in the Taxes tab. So if we go back up top, just to get an idea and get oriented, if we go back to the dashboard up top, here's our normal dashboard as we go in. If we go to the Workers tab, this is where we process the payroll employees here. And then if, when we want to deal with the taxes, then we're going to go down to the Taxes tab. So if we go to the Taxes tab, we then have two tabs up top, one being the Sales Tax, not what we're dealing with here, the second now being the payroll taxes, which will help us to process that payroll tax information, those payments. We have our quarterly forms, our annual forms, and uh, the employee setup screens within the taxes tab, the payroll tax tab. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.